Lay out all received packages near an open area. Inspect all boxes before opening them. Photograph any damage. Now unpack the first box. This box contains the low impact mini panel. Lay it down safely in the packaging material so that it cannot damage the floor. Now unpack the final box. This box will include the wheelbase, the controller, the controller backplate and attachment arm, two pool noodles, one Airx pad, a set of drumsticks, a QR coded wristband, and a portable tablet stand. Now let's attach the wheelbase to the panel. First, turn over the panel so that all the targets are facing down towards the floor or on a table. The panel weighs 70 pounds, so two people are required to handle it. Use a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet to remove the nut and the washer near the bottom of the panel. There will be a total of four nuts and washers. Once removed, undo the tape holding down the wire bunch near the screws we removed the nuts and washers from earlier. For this next step, we made sure to set the panel face down on a table so that it was easier for us to attach the wheelbase. First, unravel the wires at the end of each post so that they can be fed through the wheelbase in the next step. One of the posts will have two wires. The shorter wire of the two should not be fit through the wheelbase. Place the wheelbase near the screws at the end of the post. Thread the single wire through the designated holes within the wheelbase. Secure the wheelbase onto the panel using the four screws we removed the nuts and washers from earlier. Reattach the washer and nut to each screw and secure it using the 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. There are two power supplies on the bottom of the wheelbase. The threaded single wire coming from the bottom of each panel and through the wheelbase will connect to the white connector ports on the power supply controlling the actuators. The left wire will plug into the left side of the power supply and the right wire will plug into the right side. The final wire connected to the keypad can be brought over the back edge of the wheelbase. This is the same wire that we did not thread through the wheelbase. Plug this wire into the bottom of the power supply controlling the actuators. Zip ties should be used to neatly wrap spare cable. Remove the system from the table and stand it on its feet. To move the system around, unlock all four wheels by disabling the brakes. You can re-enable them at any time. There are a total of two wires that need to be plugged into the power outlet attached to the back end of the wheelbase. Next, we will attach the keypad controlling the movement of the panel. Remove the two screws located on the back end of the right post. The keypad will be taped nearby and wrapped in plastic. Align the screw holes on the bracket and keypad. Secure the screws using a hex 3mm screwdriver. Next, we will attach the controller backplate. First, remove the two screws from the top of the left panel. A Phillips number two screwdriver will do the trick. Align the backplate with these screw holes and secure the backplate. Make sure the controller backplate is facing the correct direction. Pause the video and notice how this is positioned. The controller will be attached next. First, remove the knob at the back of the controller. Align and attach the three hooks on the back plate to the three holes on the back of the controller. Reattach the knob to secure the controller onto the back plate. There are two wires that need to be plugged into the controller to give the system power. This wire will power the targets. Remove the blue tape holding it down. This wire will power the entire system. Remove the blue tape holding it down as well. Plug the power cord into the power supply attached to the back of the controller backplate. Notice the shape of the target wire and plug it into the side of the controller. Notice the shape of the power cord wire and plug it into the controller just above the target wire. There are three provided zip tie locations. Thread the power cables through each attached zip tie while making sure there is room for the cables to move fluidly through them when the panel goes up and down. Leave a one inch diameter hole in each zip tie. Cut the end of each zip tie to make it look nice. Remove the plastic on all nine targets. 
plug the power cord into a wall outlet to give the system life. Each target should light up along with the controller. At this point, the keypad can be used to adjust the position of the panel in relation to the participant using SmartFit. Build your tablet stand by following the instructions within the packaging material. Secure your tablet to this stand as shown here. Lastly, we will test all sensors to ensure the system is ready for use. First, open the SmartFit app. In this video, we already had the app downloaded and created an account. It is likely that you'll need to download and create an account first. Connect to your system, then play the game called Knock the Lights Out, Keep 3 On. Touch each sensor to ensure each target disappears when struck. If this is not the case, then please contact our customer service line at 805-256-0278. You are now ready to use SmartFit.